Hello everyone, let's make a caged polka dot bustier top. All right, let's drape our design with the draping tape. Make sure your dress form is set to your measurements. Up next, we're going to grab our muslin and put it over each panel separately and trace it, pin it down, and then real nice and snug. And then we're going to trace over it with our Sharpie. your pattern pieces back on your dress form and it looks like it's a good fit and so we're gonna go ahead and mark our notches okay up next lay each of your pattern pieces down on a doubled over fabric and cut them out all right do the same thing with the lining cut your pattern pieces out on the lining match your pattern pieces and pin them together and sew them in order to add the cage look to it when I did the, the bra part, I did not, with the cut part, I didn't sew it all the way on. So it's one, two, three. That third panel, I did not sew all the way on. Because what I am going to do, I am going to take, I have a um, double wide, hopefully you guys can see this. I have double wide bias tape. So what I am going to do is take my double wide tape and I am going to start on this seam. I'm going to cover this seam because I'm going to do this part and this part. So I'm literally just going to start from that edge and pin it in, pin it in place right across the seam. Now the seam, I want to make sure it's folded up underneath. And the reason I didn't sew that in is so that I could put this in there and then sew it up so that that cage part is right in the inside of that seam along. That's right across there. What I am going to do, I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So I'm going to just sew that down at the top and at the bottom, a really narrow I'm going to be not narrow, but I'm going to be almost at the edge of it on both sides. I'm going to just sew it down. Do the other part that I need to do. So I'm going to cut it a little longer just in case. So this part is going to go underneath there because I don't want it on top because then you'll see it. So I'm going to hide it away underneath. Again, covering the seam allowance. And we're going to 
take that right down this seam right here. Make sure that your seam is turned the way you want it to go. Everything on this side, I want to go that, and on the other side, I want it to go the opposite way of the cup. So I'm just going to... Take it over to the sewing machine. Like I said, I'm going to do that same thing on both, sew it down on both sides. Then I'll be back to show you guys the next step. Okay. Have it underneath the sewing machine. And I literally just, I'm going to sew right at the edge. So I'm going to do that on this side, and then I'm going to do it up the other side. I just kind of wanted to show you guys. Pin the bias tape up each seam. Don't make a mistake like I did. I laid it all the way completely across and had to go back and take that apart and put it in between the seams because if not, it's going to make your chest lay flat and that you don't want. So put it in between each seam uh, in between the bust. What you see here is the lining and what I am doing I am going to make a casing for the boning so anything from the middle I split it everything going that way everything goes right goes right so, and whatever goes left goes left so in from the middle so I just pinned all these down I am going to put my presser foot right there sew this down so that I can stick the boning in so that is the next step so, I've done one of the casings so far. So what you do is you just put your presser foot down and I am going to sew a casing in. And it's in there. And at the top to close the casing up, I'm just going to go straight across so that the, case, the boning won't slip up. Right there across the top. So my boning won't slide out once it's in place. Now time to put in the boning. I've already put in a half of the, um, the lining. And so now I'm just going to take my boning, lay it on top and see where I need to cut it and then if it has rough edges I'm just going to take my nail file and smooth those edges out. Um, of this type of boning, I saw somebody on YouTube, I can't remember who, I'm so sorry, but she used cable ties and so I'm trying it my, I've tried it myself and, I, and it's pretty cool because it has the same thickness like the boning and the same type of stability. So, you just kind of cut those off and do the same thing, line them up and fit those in. So, either one will do when you're working with the plastic boning. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and just fill in the rest of these, put the boning in all of these. I even put little pieces at the top so that it will stand up. Okay, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to attach my... After we put in the boning, we're going to go ahead and install our separating zipper. Okay, once the separating zipper is installed, we're going to go ahead and connect the lining 
to the top. So what we're going to do is match the edges at the top and then we're going to pin it and sew it together. Okay, after it's sewn together at the top, next step is to open that baby up and then we're going to do a stay stitch. So we're going to push the seam allowance back toward the lining and we are going to sew really close right there at the edge. Okay, the stay stitch is in place, so now it's time to go ahead and sew the bottom. So we want to make sure we don't catch that boning at the end, so make sure it's out of the way, sew the bottom, and then we're going to turn it inside out. All right, let's turn it inside out, and then we're going to make sure we press it all the, well, stick our hand through so we can get all that seam allowance out the way. Next step is to just, to close this up, we're just going to flip it inward just like that and tuck it. Do it to both sides and then sew it down. All right, we're down to our final step. I'm just going to take the bias tape and do the whole edge i'm just gonna go around the top and the bottom sew it in place and i can't wait to show you guys don't forget to like share and subscribe